Hey guys, uh, welcome back. So there is a new release of uh, Kubernetes version, version 1.35. So let's see like uh, what are all the key features and uh, what are all the major uh, changes that has been happening in the Kubernetes world. So this version it is called uh, Timbernetes, the old tree release. Okay. So so if you see like uh, we have like uh, multiple uh, features okay like we have 60 enhancements so including 17 stable 19 beta and 22 alpha features so uh, if you see like we have multiple features so i have like uh, made a list of uh, highlight uh, features so let's discuss like uh, what is the new changes which are going to come in kubernetes okay so the first uh, major feature which is of uh, general availability and beta so the first feature is in place update of uh, part resources like what this do like uh, it enables the cpu and the memory for uh, running parts without restart like in case if you have to update the cpu and memory there is no need to restart uh, the parts so this feature has been introduced so why it is important so it uh, removes the need to delete and recreate uh, parts okay so you will be not having any downtime okay what is the benefit you will have smoother and quicker vertical scaling and zero time time zero downtime for the resource uh, adjustments okay so this is one of a key feature so you can avoid the downtimes and the second feature is uh, node delayed uh, node declared feature so nodes can declare like uh, what features they support okay we can uh, just give it the parameter like status declared feature so that uh, we can define like uh, what are all the features it will support okay so how it works so scheduler and admission controllers uh, use this for uh, safe placement decision like which pod has to go to which node based on this uh, we will be able to uh, select the node okay and also it helps in cluster with uh, version skew in case if you have set any skew values then also like uh, we will be able to place them uh, in the proper uh, nodes and third feature is for uh, part certificates so kubernetes can now natively issue short lived uh, tls certificates now like it will uh, automatically give a short lived tls certificate so what it means like uh, simplifies workload identity and mutual tls without external tools there is no need of any external tools okay it uh, supports by default uh, from the kubernetes itself okay so built in workload identity capability and uh, no need for external set managers so normally we will have set managers and different tools right so now uh, no need of uh, those things okay and uh, main security boost is native part to part encryption uh, with uh, third party tools without uh, any of the third party tools we are able to achieve this one so another feature is numeric value for uh, taints okay so for taints we can set uh, numeric values like uh, what is the sla those things okay so we can just give the numeric value and we can just uh, give the tolerations uh, using this value for example if you have to allow sla greater than 950 you can just mention it in the values previously it was not supported now this feature also is enabled and another feature is uh, user namespaces okay so it is in the beta so previously what happens like uh, containers uh, root uid can be remapped to unprivileged host uid okay now this can be done oh well, the security improvement is like isolates uh, container users from host root okay so previously it was in beta now it is enabled by default okay and uh, better security so this enables like prevents containers root from accessing the host root files so it is a great feature and the next alpha beta features like uh, we have one more thing called uh, gang scheduling okay so this is in the alpha so what it will do it will enable all or nothing means it will in case if you have to schedule all the parts it will schedule all the parts otherwise nothing will be scheduled like uh, partially running it's not uh, um, uh, you cannot uh, partially enable these parts okay so this is like a great thing for uh, ml jobs okay what it does it can block until all parts can be scheduled together so critical for uh, workloads that uh, needs all or nothing uh, placement because in case if you workload needs like all the parts to be running and uh, no need like uh, certain parts to be down then this will be a key feature because a and ml uh, will be having high workloads and it needs all the parts to be running together so this gang should is another uh, feature which is in alpha and uh, opportunistic uh, batching okay scheduler can batch similar parts for uh, faster placement in case if you have uh, similar parts they can be combined together and uh, place separately okay so this is uh, great for large scale jobs where uh, batching improves efficiency okay so this is in beta and uh, the next one is uh, constrained impersonation so this is in the alpha so this limits impersonation permission a user can't gain more rates than uh, what they already have so this will tighten the rbac safety so this is also a great feature and uh, image pool credential verification so this is one of the 
good feature like for, uh, and like uh, in case if you already have an image in your cache it will verify the credentials for that image as well okay so ensures the image uh, registry credential and re-verify even for the cached images okay even the images which are cached for that also it will uh, verify okay so this is a great uh, security improvement so better security for multi-tenant clusters in case if you have multiple tenants then it will be a great feature and uh, okay so these are all the features what got what got deprecated so what got uh, removed okay so deprecated uh, q proxy ipvs mode okay so ipvs mode is being removed due to complexity okay so in case if you want to um, remove this one you can just switch to nf tables as uh, recommended backend okay and uh, final warning for uh, container d 1x so those who are using container d of version 1.x they have to migrate to 2.x uh, before uh, you like this is the last supported version uh, so going forward in case if you get another version of kubernetes with version 1.36 then it will not be supported so that one is there and then uh, c group are disabled by default so what is the use of c group in case if you have to allocate uh, any of the ram and memory based on kernel so it uh, that uh, option uh, like version 1 is uh, disabled by default and version 2 is uh, required okay and uh, what you must do so ensure that uh, node runs linux with c group version 2 otherwise uh, by default it will be disabled and uh, you obviously will have issues in uh, the pod uh, uh, memory and uh, cpu allocation okay and verify your uh, linux distribution support uh, c group version 2 okay uh, so what is the main thing the migration is required from uh, version 1 to version 2 uh, so that uh, your application will run fine okay and uh, security improvements so it has hardened the kubelet uh, certificate uh, cn validation so it is in the alpha so new validation requires uh, kubelet certificate cn equal to system and we have to give the node and then node name so this what exactly this will prevent set an prison impersonation of uh, attacks through certification validation so this can be avoided okay so here is the feature summary okay so in place pod update of all the ram and uh, this thing without uh, um, restarting the pod so this is stable so new restarts for uh, no restarts for uh, resizing pod certificates so it is in uh, beta uh, native workload sets uh, so it will provide certificates uh, uh, by itself and uh, node uh, declared features so better scheduling decision and gang scheduling so all or nothing so if you are, you are running all the parts will run otherwise none of the parts will run so it, this is very great for uh, ml jobs and uh, numeric taints so previously we didn't have this option now you can taint uh, the nodes and uh, parts using uh, the numeric value okay and c group uh, version 1 is removed so we have to migrate to uh, c group version 2 so this is a new feature and container d 1x support so this is going to end okay so we have to upgrade to 2 dart x so the key takeaway so the key features are in place part update so use them for zero downtime scaling and uh, part certificate so this eliminates the need for external set manager in many cases and uh, action required upgrade container d to 2x so this ensures uh, c group v2 is supported and gang scheduling is coming for uh, aml workloads so it is like uh, very important okay so that's it guys so these are all the latest updates which has come in uh, version 1.35 so in case if you are going to upgrade uh, to the latest version just consider that these latest features have been uh, published you can just uh, try to go through this official documentation here they have given everything in deep okay so almost 60 features are there in case if you need uh, you can go through but uh, these are all the key highlights uh, which we have uh, uh, shown okay so these are all the latest changes uh, which has come okay guys uh, that's it for today let's catch up in uh, another video or another update okay thank you bye